doing really well. If you're new here, my name is Susanna and today we are making another Ninja foodie recipe. That's what we do on this channel and we absolutely love using it to the max. And this is a really nice bake recipe. So I made something similar to this around Christmas time and that was like a chicken loaf and had stuffing in the middle and it was really nice, nice and festive, really easy. And oh my God, the views that I got on TikTok, Instagram that on that one was amazing. So this one is a little bit of a take on a cordon bleu. So it's got the cheese and the ham filling in the middle, surrounded by chicken, but I've wrapped this in bacon and we're gonna bake it in the Ninja. I'm sure you're gonna love this because it makes a really easy but impressive dinner when you've got friends or family coming over. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Hit the like button if you do like the look of it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's go and start making this. So I haven't really got a name for this dish, but it is kind of like a chicken bacon loaf. <laughs> and I've made this before at Christmas time with a stuffing and it's been absolutely delicious. The take on this is, is a little bit like a, I think it's how you say it, cordon bleu which is the sort of classic French cheese ham, but normally on the outside, you would then have a crispy breadcrumb. This is a really nice thing that you can make ahead of time, put it in the fridge, cook it later, and I bake this in my Ninja. Of course, you can bake it in your oven. Um, let's start off with our streaky bacon. So there's quite a, I'm just gonna move those over a little bit. It's quite a, a lot of bacon because this is gonna basically encase the chicken and it's, this is so delicious. So I layer it up like this. So I go each side and then do a little bit of a hang. I like to use streaky bacon. I know that it's, you know, it's got a lot of fat running through it, but that is what makes this taste so good. We've got people coming over. So this is just a really nice make ahead dish it's just stress-free for me, and I am all about not having too much stress when you've got people coming over. So continue going backwards and forwards with this, like that. I'm only la overlapping them slightly. We are at the end of this pack. So I'm just gonna shift those up. Okay, so that was a whole pack of your streaky bacon there. Let's have a look how many slices so I can let you know. 14 rashers and that's smoked. That's just my preference, that's what I like. Okay, so next is my chicken. So I've got some nice chicken breasts here. And what I do is I layer chicken in the bottom. If we need some more chicken, I'll just cut up some more. So I've got a pack of chicken squish this down the idea with the chicken is that i'm going to encase the lovely cheese and ham then filling i think i am going to want some more chicken in here so i want to kind of go up the sides slightly as well with this and what i did with the chicken they were full breasts and i just butterflied them out cut them in half so that they're a little bit Dinner. So now I can grab some ham out of here and I wanted to do this with clean hands. This is beautiful, this ham that I bought. Let's lay that over the chicken and that is going to encase our cheese. Now you want to use a cheese that melts well. I think kind of a, a Swiss type cheese is good. And let's layer the cheese. I'm going to go with a couple of slices in here. Now what I'm going to do is go over the top with some ham and that's going to help to encase that a little bit further. Now we want some chicken on the top. So now cover the rest. There you go. Look at that. That is perfect. I think that's four chicken breasts that I've used in here. Right, now we've got our bacon and we can wrap this up like it's going to bed. What I may do is if I've got a little bit too much, 
I might tuck some down the ends. So like this piece here, I'm going to tuck down the side and that's just going to give that a little bit of an edge and just stop anything spilling out there. Last few pieces, but that is a really great chicken loaf cordon bleu, whatever we're going to call it. Look at that. I'm going to bake this for around 45 minutes um, and I will keep an eye on it. I'll use a thermometer. That is your best route to go down. You can't, you can't physically see the chicken. You can't see that it's cooked. So I would always use a thermometer. I like my bacon quite crispy as well. So I'll leave it uncovered, get a really nice color going on that. So around 45 minutes could take longer, could be up to an hour. So just bear that in mind, but this is gonna be delicious. One thing I forgot to mention, you probably noticed that I didn't season the chicken. Now, of course, you go ahead and you season it if you want to. For me, the bacon is salty. We've got that ham in there as well. But of course, if you want to add some sort of seasonings into it, then of course you can do that. And just for reference, because I know people like to know what I'm using, I use this ham, which I got from Ocado, and oh, it smells so, so nice. It's nice and thin, which is ideal for this type of recipe. And then I was trying to find a Swiss cheese, but I couldn't really find anything online when I did my food shop. This was the best one that I could find, and I think that's gonna melt really nicely in there. Here it is, straight out of the Ninja. I've had that on bake and it looks incredible. Just gonna try and get it out carefully. There you go. Oh, so nice. Let's just slice this open so I can show you inside what we have got. Look at that. That looks incredible. Mm, can't wait for dinner.